I absolutely need some more Ultra in my life in 2023. They kind of fell off the map for me in 2022. And I got to say, raise your hand. Who's a, who's a zero drop fan? 30 and 30, okay, for the stack heights. For those that don't know, Ultra, A-L-T-R-A. They're zero drop shoes, meaning the slope inside the shoe is uh, zero. So most shoes have a four, a six, an eight, some a 10, some a 12, I guess. Thinking of uh, some Mizuno shoes, I believe. So Ultra is zero drop. And I'll just, I'll say right now, why do I use Ultra? Stretch the legs out. Why do you use Ultra if you're an Ultra fan? Maybe it's for the splaying in the toe box, okay? For me, it's to stretch the lower leg out. And I just, they just fell through the cracks in twenty. Part of it was the injury, but I I love a good recovery run in Ultra. No joke. And okay, uh, not the yeah the, no the Torin and the Rivera. Oh my goodness, where is the Rivera? Oh, it's sitting right over there actually. Anyway, the Rivera I think broke into the eights in early 2022 for an Ultra shoe. So bottom line, I love Ultra for recovery and just helping me get through the mileage that I need to get through. All right, so here's the paradigm. Shout out to the stability runners watching right now. All right, here we go, guide rail technology. Actually, let's start in the upper first. Not a gusseted tongue, not great scores. Uh, a little slop, I, I like the word use, a little sloppy through the end of the eyelet chain. And part of it is because, so I did go true to size. I'll just say now, I would probably go a half size down moving, me. <laughs> Maybe even a full size down, but definitely a half size down. I know Ultra, some of their shoes, uh, I don't know all their shoes, but don't even work in the in the, uh, in the the half sizing. They just go one size to the next. But bottom line, I was swimming quite a bit in this upper. So just keep that in mind. However, and this is going to connect to the outsole as well, for thick winter running socks, perfect, true to size, okay? But when I was testing the shoe, and you can see the footage, like it's it's been pretty snow here in, snowy here in Denver these last uh, couple weeks, is that the uh, in the winter running socks, it, it fit much better. All right, so keep that in mind. And uh, let's do the heel counter, okay? Nothing, uh, no, no, no sort of strength there. And sure enough, um, you know, I, I think they could, especially since it's, it's a stability, stability-esque, gentle stability, they could probably put a little more structure to that heel counter. So not great scores for the upper. Let's do the twist test. Whoa, hello, that's interesting. Okay, that's twisting a lot more than I expected. Perhaps it's connected to the inner flex grooves. Let's go to the outsole right now, actually. We're skipping around a little bit. The, the outsole, I'm so glad. And again, this is a carryover from 2022, but uh, we're still, we're still going to get it in. Uh, the outsole is amazing. If you're running on slushy, slick, snow-packed, like I felt so confident out there in the 50 miles of tested, like no issues at all on that out. I love I, I really love the outsole. It's um, and it's not completely plastered with rubber, but man, it's grippy, grippy, grippy. I just felt like I could. I, I, I had no qualms about running on ice and snow in the shoe with no micro spikes. Okay, but there are interflex grooves to help your foot kind of. You know, there, Ultra's one of Ultra's uh, theses. Theses is to allow your foot to uh, naturally go to work, to naturally splay, to naturally strike the ground and then push off, okay? And I felt it in a big, big way. So if you like a sh if you wanna be in charge of your foot strike and not have the shoe be in charge of you, consider the Ultra Paradigm 6, all right? So there you go, and there's that guide rail through the midsole. And in fact, there's the scores for the midsole as well. And I'm getting, um, now, it's, let's do the thumb test. Yeah, ooh, nice. It's just nice. And that's where the Torin and the Rivera, it's just a nice, it's not, oh, I'm trying to compare it to another. It's the Ego Max uh, midsole material. I'm trying to compare it to another one because it's not incredibly, incredibly soft as far as the durometer is concerned. For everybody that's out there watching, I realize you'd have to cut the shoe open, uh, but I can't cut over every shoe open to get a, a really, really accurate durometer. So it's a range, just so you know. Don't worry, I don't take the, the numbers too seriously. It's just a range, okay? So it is not like in the upper 20s, not even close. In fact, it's about 45, I believe. Yep, there's 42. And then under the uh, forefoot, we were looking at about a 37. Hold on, hold on. 
it's hard to find a flat spot on this out on this there so that's the key is you want to find a flat spot but there's one oh that's saying 45 as well all right so we're not talking crazy soft but man nice energy return and again recovery recovery for how i would use this shoe i would buy the shoe again 100 percent. okay whoa 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 gotta watch what i'm saying i would buy the shoe again especially on sale all right brand new out of the box Woo! Zesty, there's the price score, okay. I think the durability is gonna be solid. I think it's gonna get quite a few miles, all right? I really, in fact, I'm seeing zero breakdown on that mid, zero, like, no, and definitely none on the outs, like, it looks amazing, actually, after the 50 miles, but um, the price is out of control. That's a lot, and even for a stability shoe, like, most, many stability shoes are in that 140 to 155 range-ish, like 170 is, we're talking about a lot of money there. Now, I'm not gonna put any other stability shoes on the screen to buy, but if you are interested in my favorite ultra shoes, it's the Rivera and the Torin line, okay? Oh, I think it was the Torin 3. There, oh my goodness, I wish I would've bought 20 pairs. The ultra, I think it was the ultra Torin 3, maybe it was the 3.5. It was a mate, like it was my go-to recovery day shoe for stretching the lower leg, the calf, the Achilles tendon, the soleus, all of that. It was just the right amount of cushion as well. All right, so there you have it. Shoe quick specs one more time. Soak them in, okay? There you have it. Engineered mesh on that upper. Ultra Ego Max midsole material. Rubber is grippy and soft. Foot pod outsole, okay? Which I just, I just loved it. And that full review score, it's a little low. 6.9 out of 10. Didn't break the sevens, but... Um, it's mostly because of that upper. It's the upper, yeah, yeah, I, it's just a little, and again, I realize Ultra is going for the splaying feel, and you have to get used to it. And I, I, when I was testing Ultra in 2019, 2018, I didn't really feel the difference, like a huge difference from zero drop, let's say, to four millimeters. Now I feel it. Like you really, well, the more you dial in your shoe rotation, you're gonna feel the difference from, from even like four, yeah, from four to zero. I was gonna say two to zero, but there's really no two millimeter drop shoes out there on the market. There you have it. Comment of the day, hit pause if you wanna read it. Great comment from Dan South. Thank you, Dan, for that comment of the day. And the question of the day as we start 2023, maybe you're planning a vacation, all right? What is the most relaxing place you've ever been? Isn't that, that's a hard question. The most relaxing place you've ever been. Cause listen, we all need to decompress sometimes. In fact, when I publish like three, four, five videos in a row, shoe, shoe review videos in a row, you know I'm on vacation, okay? Cause I can publish, I can schedule the shoes ahead of time. That's what we did when we went to Mexico a couple years ago. So, um, not saying Mexico is the most, I'm trying to think, man. It's probably a camping trip, actually. We just get out, maybe Utah. Oh my goodness, Utah. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, everybody, we love you. Ultra pair, ultra playlist, ultra playlist right here for all the Zero Drop fans. Right there, right there. I like it, I like it. It's a whole, I don't even know. We'll put it on the screen earlier if it was on sale. I'm not positive if it is at this point, but right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.